Hey all, welcome to Newspaper Breakdown, 23rd of the 11th, hope everyone is still. Um, I'll start with immigration, a few stories to go through, uh, something that, I mean, it's a usual thing to talk about uh, immigration, something that everyone, everyone from our Lord God Jeremy Corbyn to our far right Tory Keir Starmer all dislikes, don't they? Um, today, our Home Secretary, Asuela Braverman, the uh, only person Pretty Patel thinks should take a fucking chill pill, uh, was appearing in front of the Home Affairs Select Committee uh, when she was asked by a Tory MP how a 16-year-old orphan from an East African country escaping war with a sibling would get to the UK safely and legally. Asuela Braverman admitted that you can only claim asylum if you can make it to the UK. Now, that means that there is no legal route. This comes from the uh, Nationality and Borders Bill, which I actually uh, spoke about in my uh, latest stand-up show, because that's the type of boring stuff I make stand-up out of. Um, we have removed all of the safe routes to legally come into this country and so when uh, you keep on hearing about uh, the rise in illegal immigration that is because there is no legal immigration the only way you can come into this country and legally claim asylum is to get into this country first you cannot claim asylum from outside so you have to find a way it's like the fucking sphinx's riddle here the only way you can actually get to claim asylum in the UK is by stepping foot in the UK. The only way to do that is illegally. Which will automatically go onto your fucking um, record, by the way, when you start looking to claim asylum. So how did you get over here? The only fucking possible way. I can't teleport. Um, it's just, this is, this is the issue that we do face with regards to... Uh, Immigration, we've got so many people who are willing to treat human beings as shit whilst lying about the goodness that we're doing for them. Uh, I mean, if we continue with asylum seekers, several insiders have told the BBC that uh, asylum claims are being delayed and are being handled by low-paid and inexperienced uh, staff. So we've got nearly 130,000 people. People, important, always put people in it. Because um, we don't, even I don't. You know, we call them migrant, asylum seek, everything else. We it, it helps to remove the humanity from these people, from these human beings. Um, We've got nearly 130,000 people are waiting for a decision, uh, which creates long delays you'll create and costs us a lot of money because it's a continuation of our, well, I mean, look at the amount that we're spending on hotels. Well, if you actually answered the decisions quicker, then we wouldn't be spending as much. You can't blame uh, illegal uh, migration on our inability to do the job that we're meant to be doing. Uh, I mean, especially with this job, it's, it's a difficult job uh, to begin with. We think it's uh, seemingly our government, our home office, believe it's some piddle of piss job, which is why we're getting low paid, inexperienced staff dealing with horrific stories, which isn't going to be good for the people dealing with it. You're not going to be given enough training to actually do the job. So you're going to be drowning in the horror stories of poor bastards coming from war, or you'll pay two pound at a bob. Expect to fucking answer everyone's questions where you should be having experts dealing with it, or at least people who are fucking um, tall. Shouldn't have taken so long to think of taught, should I? We live and we learn. Uh, next story you got over the Supreme Court. UK Supreme Court has ruled that Nicola Sturgeon could not call a second independence referendum without the backing from Westminster, which means she can't. Uh, at the moment, the only way 
for her to be able to call a second independent referendum is to get the backing to do so from Sunak and he will not. He just won't. Even when Starmer comes in, he will not. You're not going to find uh, backing for a second independent referendum from a British PM. It's not going to happen. Mainly because they will not want to be known as the PM who allowed it to happen. Uh, what was he famous for when uh, he was PM? Ah, oh, Scotland fucked off. Ah, oh, nice. Uh, not expecting it to happen. Of course, with this, with the Supreme Court, because this, uh, this was like her plan B to get the courts to say she could do. Um, Sturgeon will use this as an attack. Uh, this will be used as her continual want for an uh, independence referendum that everyone's stopping us from being democratic. We're not allowed our democracy. It's been taken away by Westminster. Even the courts do not want it. Everyone's against us. Um, that's how she'll play this. The only... I think that... Sturgeon does need to be a touch wary that she doesn't just turn the SNP into a one policy party like fucking UKIP just one in one thing everything else is pushed by the side um, because Scotland as with the rest of the UK it's not perfect it's, 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 uh, Sturgeon hasn't created a utopia Only time will tell. Uh, we have three news stories left. Uh, the UK Transport Secretary Mark Harper will meet with the RMT General Secretary Mick Lynch uh, for the first time uh, for urgent talks to try to call off the rail strikes over the Christmas period, looking for more rail strikes to be happening. Uh, not unexpected. No. Um, considering that the staff, well, rail staff, are yet to get what I fucking asked for. So a couple of points with regards to this. Like, this is the first time that the Transport Secretary, well, the new Transport Secretary, I mean, we've had a million of them in a short space of time, over exaggeration, of course. Um, but even before, I don't think that uh, Grant Shapps spent uh, a lot of time talking to uh, Mick Lynch. It doesn't feel like the government has dealt with uh, these strikes or the RMT in good faith. Well, I think that's a continuation of how uh, our government has dealt with all unions. Um, and also, uh, Mick Lynch is not a god. Stop treating him like one, you utter, utter bastards. Um, this is a continuation of fucking uh, the requirement for humanity to need a hero every pissing for every pissing second of the day it's what happened with Corbyn it still goes on and it's what happening with fucking Mick Lynch everyone's treating him like he's perfect like he's never done anything wrong anyone mentions the fact that the RMT helped to push fucking Brexit uh, he's treated oh well oh he's done yeah he's, he's, he's very good at his job and that's his job Bob Crow was very good at his job and that's what Mick Lynch is doing, his job. He's very good at it. And everyone's there, and we're in such a fucking world now that him able to turn stupid questions onto, uh, back to journalists or make fucking politicians look stupid like that is a completely difficult thing. We're treating it like it's fucking amazing. Oh, well done. Finally. Oh, I love him. He should be PM. He should be God. He should be my fucking daddy. Your children. Grow the fuck up. Christ's sake. Um, no one. Uh, we, unions need more power in this fucking country. But no one should have absolute power. 
this is we went through this and we see it. It's like a, a rolling fucking uh, thing every uh, uh, every generation. Unions get more power. Uh, 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 capitalists get more power. Unions get more power. Da 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 da. da. It goes around and around and around. Every time we've learned in the end that no one should have absolute fucking power. Uh, I mean, he's helped buy papers, of course. Uh, keeping on fucking Jesus. Some newspapers have called him the Grinch who stole Christmas because this world should end. Uh, Mick Lynch says he is not the the Grinch. He is a trade union official who is determined to get a deal. See how easy it is. See how easy it is. Newspapers set it up. It's like a it's like you're bowling a softball to him. The reason that he's able to do this is because he, he's not there for anything else than to do his fucking job. Of course he's able to just turn everything into, this is what I'm doing, this is the reason I'm doing it. Problem is we have such shit fucking journalists, our uh, politicians, every single one of them, share a brain cell and I think it's gone on fucking holiday. Um, the Thursday is the deadline for a deal if they don't get it then expect to have more strikes over the christmas period uh government is seemingly trying to hold out because if you strike you don't get paid and what they're trying to do seemingly um is put everyone in there into poverty so that they don't have the money to afford anything so they have to work to actually be able to afford everything that's that's the fucking that's what it looks like uh, final two stories, The uh, you've got six dead uh, in another mass shooting over in the US, this time in a Walmart in Virginia. Uh, um, something about how this is mental health, it's not about guns. Uh, it is about guns, it's, it's, the, it's, it's what, it's like their fucking pastime at this point, it's what everyone knows America for. Uh, everyone, it's, they've got a, an issue with guns and they're unwilling to do anything about it. Uh, it's, I mean, you've got the NRA who wank over the idea of innocent people dying. It's like their thing. Uh, you've got the um, Republicans who have absolutely no fucking bollocks. They are just there to be given money and to say whatever they're being told to. And you've got the Democrats who are fucking Ballless. Uh, it's not. It's not going to fucking change unless unless someone actually has a pair of bollocks in it. You know, going on with mental health. All right, the, it's a mental health problem. Mate. If you give someone with mental health issues a fucking yo-yo, no one's dying. You know, oh no, mental Larry is fucking walking the dog. Not the same fucking thing, is it? Um, a final bit. Now, final news story is the shit Justice Secretary Dominic Raab has defended plans to reintroduce the UK Bill of Rights uh, to replace the Human Rights Act. Uh, I've spoken about the uh, Bill of Rights before. It is an attempt to remove freedoms from ourselves, which we're fine with, by the way. We've been losing freedoms for fucking years and we've done hardly anything for it. In fact, in 2016, we voted for it. Um, because freedoms do not matter, do they, you know? Not when you can get rid of Muslims or some fucking bollocks. Oh no, it's it's not about the economy, it's about the fact of bollocks. <laughs> children, fucking children, every single one of you. Um, uh, the UK Bill of Rights is going to be attempted to be brought back in by shit Justice Secretary Dominic Raab to remove our freedoms and to grant more power to the government. That's what's going to be happening if we allow it, which we will do. Um, it's exactly what we deserve. Uh, so uh, that's it for today. Uh, I will uh, do another one tomorrow. Have a good one. Bye.